An annual dinner and awards ceremony was held at the Italian Center in honor of Joseph Nunn, a Stanford High alumni who passed away in 2005. Since 2006, over 25 scholarships have been given out through the Joseph Nunn Scholarship Foundation. My son died in a car accident in 2005, December 22nd. I started the Scholarship Foundation in his memory. After receiving uh, memorial money from people, I just used that to start up the fund. Um, it has grown in terms of us, you know, giving the, the amount of money that we're giving to um, our local high school students, um, and which is um, a fortunate um, thing for us to do. Uh, we have um, we've garnered even more connections. Um, there are more people that's giving. Um, and even our turnout, is, it's wonderful, it's wonderful. So we're growing in leaps and bounds. Angie Murphy says the crowd ranged from anywhere between 80 and 100 participants. We're going to start off with um, a cocktail hour. We're going to have Dennis Collins sing. And then we're going to have um, a dancer. Her name is Oni Brown. And we're going to have a special singer from um, AITE. And her name is Annie Rochelle. And then we're going to start off with our awards. And we have a four scholarship awards and one community grant award. In the course of the evening, the foundation distributed $12,000 in scholarships. What I believe in is that we are helping our future today. By giving to them, we are now providing a resource for them to fulfill their dreams. But again, we're going to benefit as, um, as a community in the future. Just, uh, I hope it continue. I know it's going to continue to grow because uh, you have a great group of people here that are, are encouraging students all the time to seek higher, uh, higher education. and. Uh, I know that uh, the name Joe Nunn will continue to be a part of uh, education, not only throughout Stanford High School, but throughout the city of Stanford. Uh, I hope that we can continue, and I hope we get the support of the community to help us uh, with this endeavor of love and memory of my son.